So I just read this article in the New York Times that a patient actually sent me, thank you, um, that shows that bacterial vaginosis can actually be a sexually transmitted condition. Now, if you don't know what bacterial vaginosis is, its um, short form is BV. It's a very common gynecologic condition that I see in the office all the time. It causes women to have yellow discharge, um, a fishy odor, and a lot of itching. So it's, it's pretty detrimental to your quality of life. Many women come in with this. We can often diagnose it clinically. Sometimes we have to do a swab and we treat this condition with some antibiotics. Now, for for years, um, ever since my training, it's people have always questioned. Well, is this is this transmitted sexually? Um, and the answer and the predominant thought has always been no. But now we have some evidence, as seen in this article, that perhaps it is actually sexually transmitted. So there was this large study that was done in Australia where they treated two um, groups of couples. Um, one group uh, where the women had BV, the partners were not treated. And then another group where the women had bacterial vaginosis, the partners were also treated with the antibiotic. And guess what? Over time, they saw that the group that was treated um, with the patient and the partner, this group actually had a much less recurrence of BV. So meaning that the, they were treated and they they were healthy again. They didn't keep getting these symptoms over and over again, which is often something we see with BB. You treat a patient, next month they come back again. Um, a few months later, they get another infection. So is the key to treating BB and recurring uh, and reducing recurrence actually uh, with treating the partner? Well, that would be a huge shift in how we practice um, today. And I am so curious to see how the guidelines in the United States change um, in light of the study. You know, we hope that there are more studies that are done in the United States. And I really hope that um, there is some relief for the many, many women who suffer from recurrent BV. Because as I mentioned, it's really debilitating. It's really frustrating. It really... Um, you know, it, it's no fun to keep taking these antibiotics and going to see the gynecologist. So I am, I can't wait to see how this changes um, how we treat women and their partners with BB. Stay tuned for more.